beaten once unfairly, beaten on a second occasion, like so many of his colleagues, by sheer skill. Just over 10 minutes of the second half gone, and Argentina have a two-goal lead, and England now have to gamble. They've got to give it all. Sanson. That's a good try. Turned away by Ruggeri. The goals unquestionably have brought the game to life. But they are asking the questions now of what Bobby Robson's men have to offer. They have to throw away any inhibitions. They certainly show plenty of those in the first period. First time we've seen Butcher up in the opposition 18-yard uh, area. Vietzde and Cachufo, Ruggieri and Lineker. And we've seen very little of Gary Lineker in this contest. having sharp words and what seemed to him to be time wasting Tuesday Hoddle gets away with uh, the acrobatics Hodge young man in turmoil at the moment Steve Hodge it was his missed kick which uh, produced the first goal albeit for the fact that uh, we believe that Maradona put the ball in with his hand Butcher Certainly a moment for those who have made their journey out from Britain. There are plenty of Scots who have stayed on to watch England after the departure of their own team. It's certainly a moment for them to make themselves heard. Beardsley. He's been tightly marked all the time by Cachufo, but has battled all the way. Whatever the outcome of this contest, it's surely right to say that Beardsley has grown into an international player during this tournament. And that was Hutch. Pompidou did well to get there and needed to from Argentina's point of view. Flick on. Hodge found a goalkeeper and defender to deny him. Steven to take the corner. And England, with their credit, have pressed from the moment of going one behind. When all said and done and we look at our own heroes back home, some of them being sold expensively to Italy, I think in all honesty we can say that there is no light that shines as brightly as Maradona's. He can do it on his own, he can lay on goals for other people, he can take part in into passing movements, he has fantastic pace when it's necessary and also tremendous strength he's won a couple of heading competitions uh, already in midfield and that final one unfair or not he still read the back pass quicker than Shilton did and it was running away from him you have to remember and towards Shilton Peter Reid was hurt in that challenge free kick given against Batista whose name was taken by the referee Batista First booking in the championship. 
level with the free kick. Brown, did it brush his head or not? Yes, it did, said the linesman. Huddle coming across to take the corner. And that's Carlos Bilado, the uh, coach of uh, Argentina. And from the other bench, Chris Waddle is warming up for England. Glenn Huddle with the corner. Not a good one. And Huddle really has to get more involved in this match. If England are to save it. Beardley! Came through the crowd. The sting, I think, was taken off it. But he timed his movement into the area so well. Didn't really get hold of it. Neither almost did the goalkeeper. He saw it very late, it seemed. Stevens. Benick and Gary Stevens. Terry Butcher. Reed wants it in midfield. It'd be good to see Terry Butcher the score at nil two. Try to bring the ball forward. Could use it rather better than that. Buruchaga. Fennick. Reed. Sansa wants it on the left side. This is Hoddle. Reed. Beardsley. As always, Cachufo at his back. He's done well. Passes that little bit too high. Now that to a chair. being held by the FIFA official down in front of us which seems to indicate that Peter Reid will be the man who England will bring off Butcher being what it was against Paraguay or against Poland. Instead of a number of uh, England players, certainly he and Hodge have not been the factors that they were in the last two games. Uh, Lineker and Beardsley really have not had the service of those games. Chris Waddle is waiting. The ball is in the crowd. And the announcement of the substitution is made on the public address system. And right from Peter Reed, who played, I believe, carrying a knock, played with great determination, but has not been able to find the way for England, who now changed the formation taking off a midfield player, bringing on a forward. A forward who surely has instructions to attack on the flanks. And let us hope he's been told to attack on the flanks in the last third of the field and not from deep inside his own half, which he does far too often. This is Beardsley. Trevor Stephen coming in. That's very well done by Pompidou. It was a great catch, as you can see for yourself here. Good cross, too. Stretched him all the way, and he took it well. Only collided with the four, but did the usual roll around for a moment or two, just to make sure that we'd all seen the same. 